Good news, everyone! It's time for more Dungeon Deliciousness. <laughs> I meant to say the actual title, Delicious in Dungeon, or Dungeon Meshi. I could have switched to the Japanese title, actually, but I didn't think of that fast enough. We're doing more Delicious in Dungeon. This is episode 9, I think. Let me check my note. Yes, it is. It's episode 9. Notice I said note singular, because there's only one thing written on this page, and that's the, the number of the episode. Um, I'm super keen to get into this. Uh, it's just been great all around, um, and I, I just, uh, I feel like I could use a show that's really good right now, you know? Like, I, we, I, I lost, my, my team lost their finals in our, the basketball game we played today. It's very sad. I could use a pick-me-up in form of Delicious and Dungeon. This is a great pick-me-up show, I think. I think it's gonna really help me, so... Let's jump into this. Make sure to support the video and the channel if you can. That would be amazing. Um, liking, commenting, and subscribing. And go to my Patreon account if you want the full-length reaction as well as early access exclusive videos for both this channel and my Gen Watchers One Piece channel. Excuse me. Um, but without further ado, let's jump into episode 9 of Delicious in Dungeon. Ba -ba, ba -ba, na -na -na, ba -ba. Criminals who got stuck in this place. We've just set up camp. We're not looking for a fight here. Come on down and join us. I know that voice. Yes, you Wait do. A sec. Is that you, Lyos? Imari? Friends of What's her name? Imari? These are my current employers, the Tonsus. Really? I guess and they pay real well. Quite old. Those two are Kaka and Kiki. Cool. Oh, don't ask me who is who. I was about to ask who's who because I want to know what the woman's name was. How, how could you abandon Fallon like that? Aww. Abandon? Don't push yourself. If you kick the bucket, Fallon would be sad. Yeah. We'd like to request their assistance. What's your offer? Um, food. We've got food. We have meat. Some kelpie meat? Hell no. What? Huh. We'll be just fine. No I like his voice. Lived kin, so there is nothing to be afraid of. Okay, sure. Let's see. All magnificent water spirits. I beseech thee to He's got a really cool voice. Oh, well, that's bad. <laughs> Whoa! He used her as a shield. You were correct. <laughs> Namari! Namari is what her name is. But she said it to suffer dying. Yeah. Watching it leaves a pit in my belly. The dead shouldn't come back to life. That's true. There's arguments to be made. It shackles people's souls to their bodies. Therefore, no matter how grave the wound, your soul will not Oh. Healing the injury will revive you. Oh! The way I see it is, it's not that the dead. So the come dungeon back to does life. it. It's forbidden inside this place. Whoa! It is truly a dreadful curse indeed. This is just the type of ancient sorcery that I researched. That's really interesting. I came to if you agree to assist me, I will heal your friend in return. That's probably worth it, even though this guy is kind of a douche. Elf riding, huh? So ugly and difficult to read. Man, this guy's a dick. <laughs> Seriously? You gotta stop with the creepy ass swords. <laughs> I told you countless times. I should only use store bought ones. Yeah, I know. Make sure this one is a made too. really Don't creepy do one. With shops, man. That axe, you need to take better care of it. Yeah, that's fucked. It was horrible. I but it's my favorite you. axe. When it comes to handling weapons, there's no one I trust more than you. <laughs> Join our party again. There's a monster. Well defeated then. Hold on. What or where it is though? Relax. And how? When Lyo starts acting like this, I think we should trust him. Yes. I will not indulge baseless hunches. Hiding, we'll just drag it out. Oh my God! You're gonna get yourself killed. Maybe it's the vines himself are the monsters. It is the vines. Or at least it can control vines. Tentacles. This isn't the time Tentacles. To what are you two doing? Is, so that's Kiki, the that woman? Thing. Upon touching skin, poisonous barbs will release oh. and paralyze. Shut the hell up. Fine. I'm going in. Okay. Senshi, can I borrow your helmet? Will it fit you? 
dangerous. Don't do this. It's a bit big, but... You can't put all of your trust into revival magic. The thing I'm putting my trust into here is you and Senshi. <laughs> <laughs> huh? What's that mean? Reach me. Whoa, look at Senshi hey, without a helmet. Still stings through armor, huh? I'm already losing feeling in my arm. Oh, God. Even so. <laughs> yes! Essentially looks fucking sick. Yeah, sure. Give me the toughest job. <laughs> Did it work? Nice. <sighs> what a cool battle. Sure doesn't look like it. Really like swollen or something? I'm afraid this will take some time. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> yeah, really swollen. <laughs> Still holding it. <laughs> Paralyzed my hand when I ripped it off. And it stuck. <laughs> Your hand looks like. Although depending on the species, it could have the opposite effect. So uh -oh. be careful. Remove the outer skin of the nidocyte. Nice. It's a banana. No, that was a little piece of trivia about it. If that's the only <laughs> way, I guess there's no. Interesting. I think the taste differs in each spot. Whoa. You must be imagining that. Interesting. I'm not. I just taste vinegar. Oh. You want to try Marcel? Uh, try what? <laughs> it's yummy. Aw. And why is it kind of sticky? Is it hard? It's your turn. Don't tell her what it is. We're plenty stocked on food, so I'll pass. But it tastes good. It doesn't. <laughs> but mash it and fry it. Hell yeah. Success. <laughs> This show is so fun. All right, Lyos. Fantastic. Though, could you start with her first? Aw, yes, please. Okay. Marcel, I want you back at your normal self, please. Being healthy really is the best feeling. Yay. Thank you so much. <laughs> and you too, Lyos. <laughs> what is wrong with your face? <laughs> to thank Namari. Actually, it was my first time touching one. Does she not want to thank Namari because she's still a bit upset? When you've got an incentive like money involved. <laughs> I want her back in the party. Oh, that's in the past now. I may have poured a whole pot of boiling water on it. Uh, so that's how that's expected from an elf. Always causing trouble. Hey! Anyone die, the next generation is born with a clean slate. Oh, from what okay. I remember, a spirit's lifespan is about one week. We can't wait that long. I spirits agree. only live for a week. And That's that kind of crazy. We'll be mm. You want me to return to the surface too? Oh, oh I know. I don't get it. Look, that would make sense. Currently depleted. Here, that's like having anemia for magic users. Oh, so I'm fine though. It's hard to believe. Don't no, take how care good of I yourself. We'll, we'll do it. You slowly build up, David. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> anyway, I feel much better than before. Let's go. Oh. What are you can't fight a dragon with only three people. I Good be question. Doing fighting. Amari, you've defeated lots of dragons before. That right? Mm. I sure have. Then can, can you help you... them? Please, Namari. Can you rejoin the party? Yes, please. Oh, I like Work you. Together with Lyos and defeat the red dragon. So, if she rejoins her former party to make a quick buck, she'll gain a reputation as someone who will do anything you ask her to oh. if you pay her enough. The type of clients she'll get will change. That it's best for sucks, everyone. but if you give up, we I'll need her. To get her to return. But we need her! You should go back too. But I want you in our party because you're so cool. And can always use more women around. No, and I'm going to use the Undine to do it. Oh? oh so. <gasps> this sounds good. Catch it and drink it. Oh, yes. Wait. Action. Where's your usual enthusiasm? Uh, I don't <laughs> have much interest in spirits. It's probably going to be harder than killing it. Let's see. This is so interesting. Spirits are weak to heat, so if we take advantage of that, maybe we could attack it with a heated sword. Ooh. Then after we attack it and it splatters onto the floor, I'll slurp it all up. <laughs> Will you punch holes in your body from the inside? Oh. Yeah, you're this pan and use it as a shield, then we can attack and defend. Okay. Such spirit destroyed stone pillar. How dare you call it shoddy? <laughs> Whoa, wait a sec. 
What? This color, this shine. Oh, you like this because it's taken care of. It's adamantine, isn't it? Adamantine. Oh. As a weapon. Why was it turned into a pan? Because it it's awesome. To me like that. Trap the Undine inside. And then put it over a fire and kill it. That's, That's an awesome way. idea. <laughs> that dwarf might be fine, but will Lyos be able to hold it down? I think this is awesome. This show is just so fun. When the surf oh God, careful, because it can just kill you with one hit. Oh, shit. Is she going to do it? Namari. Come on, Namari. <laughs> Namari and Senshi. Oh! Oh, this is awesome. You have to just keep holding it down. Probably take a while, wouldn't it? To cook it enough to kill it? Are your hands gonna burn? Yeah, your hands are burning. Their stature would make you think otherwise, but tall men are actually weak. Oh, yeah. Is the taste bad? Or does it just taste like water? I want to make sure I absorb the spirit's mana. Turn it into a soup or something, Senshi. Eating foods that help with absorption is the basics of nutrition. Let's get cooking. Yes. And roughly chop them. Salt and pepper the kelpie meat. Ooh. Put the meat in a pan and let Yum. it brown. Is it good? Mm. Yay! <laughs> Power to examine it. We're back. But. Everyone else is eating it too? Many of them. Isn't that going to be wasting some of the mana? Like to eat with us? Hum. Hum. Hum nom nom. Okay, yep. There's some mana. I never thought I'd have to see them in this kind of situation. <laughs> this must be some form of punishment. Nah, you're going to like it. You got to. You got to like it. Yum. Everything's so rich. Yes. How is this possible in such a short time? For insulting your ex. <laughs> Namari, we will be returning to the surface. Uh, is she gonna stay? You're free to stay here if you want to. Oh. You stay to try this. The texture is kind of weird, but it's still pretty good. <laughs> uh, I can't really ask Try it. Come me. on. Come on, Tonsu. This isn't about money for me. I'm surprised. I thought you'd be the first to leave the group for sure. I didn't see you as the type to take on an unpaid job. That kind of makes well, sense to yeah. me. You're only here because it's a job? It's not because of friendship? <laughs> <laughs> Seemed like he had some other plans cooked up. Name he was sure? so in love with Fallon, he wanted to propose. So I'm willing to bet he's looking for her. Oh, just doing that on oh, his own? Seriously? So dense. Yep. <laughs> All right. I wish Namari could come with us. I like her. God, man, I don't... I don't remember what I said at any point during that reaction. Because I was just like... Like, I, I have a feeling most of that reaction, I was just going, I love this show. This is a fun show. Because I love this show and this is a fun show. Like, it... It makes me so happy watching this show. I was like, I'm constantly really, really impressed with the writing of this show. Like genuinely sort of like nigh blown away by it because I feel like a, a lot of shows that are kind of like this where they're like slice of life -y kind of like, I don't feel like they tend to have writing this good. But the writing of this is so good. Like, the plot, the, like, just the straight up plot uh, is great. From, you know, where, where we are to where we're going. All of that is great. Every character 
is great. Every single character is great in their own way. The designs are amazing. And the world building, it's funny because, like, in a way, it's kind of a generic fantasy world. Like, it, it is very similar to, you know, a D&D &D world. Um, but it is just, like, every single part of it is so beautifully thought out. Like, gorgeously and incredibly thought out. In this episode, like, in a lot of these episodes, I'm having at least one moment where I'm like, wow, that is a cool detail for this world. And in this episode, it was the idea that the dungeon, the entire dungeon has like this spell slash curse cast on it where a soul is shackled to the body if you're in the dungeon when you die. So that's the reason like you can revive people within the dungeon by like healing the wounds because the soul is right there. It can't leave the body. But they they did a really cool illustration of it, of like the soul actually being changed down and like crying and freaking out because it's like trapped there. So they then described it as a curse, which makes a lot of sense. But the positives of it is that, you know, you can bring back your friends if they die within the dungeon. Um, so that is a really cool concept. Like I'm so, I'm so impressed with that sort of world building. Um, and like, and yeah, I, I didn't know what they were going to do this episode because like when Lyo said, let's send Marcel back, I was like, yeah, that is the best thing to do right now. Like we, we can't have Marcel be here without her mana. Um, and we don't want anything to happen to her so that it, it is best to send her back. But I was thinking like, but how are we going to do the storyline are we gonna continue but um namira takes is that her name uh, uh, namari namari namira is the name of my friend's dnd character um namari takes her place um i like i thought you know that would have been possible for like you know an episode or something but then they would find an excuse to have Marcel come back, like someone has to teleport her back in or whatever, because she wouldn't be able to just catch up to them, I imagine. Like, after she's rested up, they would already, you know, have found the dragon or whatever. So, yeah, I, I didn't know what they were going to do, but, like, I really liked that they explored several options, and then once they were sort of backed into a corner, Marcel was like, okay. I'm going to drink the spirit. <laughs> it's like a really cool idea. I love it. Um, I wonder how much mana she got from that though. Because, so the spirit is like this big. They trapped it in this huge pot, made it into a soup. And then Marcel had a bowl that big of, you know, of spirit soup. But it would have been like, that would have been only a small chunk of the spirit. It wouldn't have been a lot of the spirit, I imagine. So, unless it's like in, somehow she got all of the mana, even from just having a small amount of it somehow. Um, unless that's the case. Then that means there was a lot of mana that actually kind of went wasted. Because it went into like the non-spell casters. Um, but she also probably doesn't have a big enough belly <laughs> to to eat that entire fucking stew. So, um, yeah, anyway, I don't even like stew, um, but I just love watching them cook that stuff and it, and just, it makes me hungry. It makes me want to try the stew, even though I don't generally like stew very much, you know, like... I think stew can be fine, but the problem is, whenever I'm having stew, I'm like, this is just a bad version of the ingredients. <laughs> like, for, especially for me, I'm a very picky eater. So for me, it's like, I just want to eat the meat and potatoes out of this. And like, I don't want it to be surrounded by water. <laughs> I just want, I just want a plate of meat and potatoes and I will be happy. But instead we have like this bowl of, of rain. <laughs> meat and potato rain and I don't want that um but yeah anyway uh I also the tentacle fight was cool as well like just it was so simple but like the they do those dramatic moments really well where Laios trusts them he goes up 
he cuts it so that the crossbow can fall down. Senshi jumps and like figures out immediately what the strat is, grabs the crossbow, passes it to um, Homegirl, to, Nam to Namari, and Namari finishes the job. It's really cool. Like it was just a nice little fun, cool thing. Oh, I wanted to find out who did Tonsu's voice acting because his voice was genuinely really cool. So I'm just clicking play on the credits um, and waiting until it gets to the English credits. But I just thought like, I didn't recognize his, like I recognize a lot of these English voice actors, but I didn't recognize Tonsu's, but I did think it was like, it was so good sounding that I wouldn't be surprised if it was a veteran actor of some sort. Um, Tan Tansu, Corey Burton. I haven't heard that name before. Um, but, uh, oh, Aniris, uh, Quinones. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it was Kiki. Interesting. But she didn't talk much. But I do like, um, Aniris Quinones. Uh, Corey Burton. He's an American voice actor. Okay, we're gonna find out what he did. Ready? Here we go. Okay, I was... I was right about him being a veteran voice actor. He is like, holy shit. <laughs> He's in a lot of stuff. He's not like anyone that I'm like, oh, that's what I know him from or whatever. Um, like, you know, I, I, I've pro I've seen and played and watched um, some of this stuff that, or a, a decent amount of this stuff that he's in. He's in a lot of famous, like not anime, but like cartoons and video games and a lot of Marvel and DC stuff. Um, he's Hugo Strange in Batman Arkham City. That's probably like the most I've probably heard him, you know, the, the closest I have to knowing his voice. Um, and he was, he was also the spirit of adventure in the episode, uh, in an episode of Ted Lasso. And I, I kind of remember that. So, um, so maybe like, I think I, I'm picturing the character that he is. Um, but anyway, uh, it's, but he is a veteran voice actor, like scrolling through, he's got a fuck ton, a hell of a lot here. So, um, like, and that, that was clear while I was listening to, I was like, this guy is a really good voice actor. <laughs> Um, but yeah, anyway, was there anything else I wanted to say? I don't think so. I, I just straight up really enjoyed that episode. I can't wait for more. Um, I hope we see Namari more often cause I really like her character. Um, I don't know why, like maybe just cause she's a woman and I like women, but, um, she added a, uh, sort of vibe to the, episode into the the group that i feel like we could use like it, it's a dynamic we we could get a lot out of so anyway that was uh episode nine of delicious in dungeon i don't know how good this reaction was honestly because i was just having such a good time i wasn't even focused on making a good video <laughs> so hopefully the good time was enough but thanks for watching support the video and the channel if you can liking commenting and subscribing and go to my patreon account for full length early access and exclusive videos for both this channel and my gent watches one piece channel thanks for watching i'll see you next time goodbye